Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am focusing and using a bunch the Under My Umbrella Bundle. This is from the 2020 uh, January to June Stampin' Up! catalog. It's so cute. It's perfect for this time of year when spring is here. And um, I have picked a color, a color palette that is very springy as well. Now, this color palette actually was a challenge given to us by Stampin' Up. Um, it had one other color in it, but I pulled it out to simplify things a little bit. Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Dovedale Delight, Grapefruit Grove, and Terracotta Tile. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I'm going to show you how to make this card, but at the end of the video, I have two other versions of this card I'm going to show you. So make sure you stick around to the very end so you can see that. All right, so let's talk about lining up our stamp and our punch first. Um, as you can see, the punch has the open umbrella, the closed umbrella, and the little handle. So to get those lined up on your block to make everything a little streamlined, I'm going to show you how you can do that. On a piece of just, you know, scrap paper, um, whoops, bumped the camera there, sorry about that, punch out uh, your, your, your shapes. Then grab your stamps and you're going to lay them down into those shapes, okay, that you've made, you've created a little template. All right, so lay them down in there, get them nice and snug. You can feel the edges there, so you just wanna kind of get it right in the middle. And we'll do this one right here like that and then take your block and just set it down like that now every time you stamp it when you go to punch it's going to all be lined up exactly as you need it um, sometimes it can be frustrating when you're trying to stamp these separately and trying to get the punch in on your paper but if you do it this way it'll be right every single time all right so now i'm going to need to stamp this in five different inks on five different cardstock pieces. And these are all tone on tone. So Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove on the end here. Whoops, these really should be switched like this. Co and a terracotta tile here on the end like that. So each time you stamp, you're gonna actually need to clean your, your um, stamp. You can get away with not cleaning when you go between maybe these two and these two down here on the end, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and then we'll punch them all out and assemble all of our umbrellas. And you'll notice that I'm gonna end up with that extra umbrella, right? And that's where I came up with the alternate versions of this card, too. Um, so you'll have to stick around to the end so you can see that. Now, take your cardstock and put it in your punch and line it up and punch and you've got your pieces. All right, now that we have all of our pieces, I'm gonna take out those open umbrellas because we're not gonna use that for this card. And then I'm gonna turn over all of my semi-closed umbrellas and I'm going to show you a little hack here on how to adhere these all right let's get them all lined up and I'm going to show you how to make this really easy it can be a little tedious if you're using regular adhesive but we're not going to use regular adhesive we're going to just take dimensionals and stick them on like that because in a little while when our card base is ready we're just going to stick these on with dimensionals so now no drying time needed let's get that one straight there we go and there we go all right so now we've got our umbrellas ready let's move them up and bring over the rest. This is really pretty easy, the rest of the card. I have a 
Bermuda Bay card Bermuda Bay card base. You can see this was a regular piece of cardstock that I scored down the middle on the eight and a half side at four and a fourth, and then cut in half at five and a half. So it is a um, top fold card base. Now I have a piece of Whisper White that is three and three fourths by five. I'm going to take my dark um, Bermuda Bay stamp and blend with the brush tip, and I'm going to just flick ink all over like rain okay now I'm gonna take Bermuda Bay and my sentiment and I'm gonna stamp it I think on my original card I did a little bit too high so this time I'm gonna do it a little bit lower no matter the weather we are friends forever all right now let's bring these guys back and we're gonna start on the outside the two outside and meet in the middle. This will help us space them. All right, now I have this one kind of curved in a little bit. And then we have terracotta tile down here, kind of curved in. Then we've got Grapefruit Grove, like that. I love that they overlap. Now I'm not pushing them down too firm because I might need to move them around. I might need a little wiggle room if they're not aligned right. Let's see, oh, maybe that, just a little bit like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, let's put it down on our card base and you're done. Isn't that adorable? So fun. All right, now wait, don't leave. I've got the al alternatives. Now you know you had all those open umbrellas pieces right there, right? And look, I did the same thing with those. But then I also decided, what if we turned them up these, instead of upside down, had them facing down? I don't know, I can't decide which one I liked better. So now I have all three. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? All right, you guys, hop over to my blog and grab the PDF. It has all the products, the colors that I used, that I used, as well as any measurements that you need, and two other Under My Umbrella projects on that post. Under the last photo, you'll find the link for the PDF, so make sure you click on it. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.